to be able to bring a show like Wicked to Denver is extremely exciting. We just came from El Paso, Texas, and we'll be here in Denver for five weeks, and then we'll move on to our next city, which is Seattle, Washington. Obviously, Denver loves Wicked. I mean, we've been here, this is our fifth time in Denver. It's the most visited city that Wicked has ever played. We always open on a Wednesday night when we get into the city, because it just takes that much time uh, to get set up and ready for our first performance. So on Monday morning, we send an advanced crew of our own of eight people that are here just for the load-in days and the load-in process to help just beef up our crew. We can't do this alone. I mean, we have about 70 to 80 local stagehands that are helping us. And they'll get the proscenium built, the dragon gets put up above the audience. It gives us a chance to just get everything measured out and ready for when the other 11 trucks arrive on Tuesday morning the process goes so much quicker because all of the bars that hang our equipment are already kind of set and ready to go. Wicked travels with a company of 70 people, and so about half of that is cast, and the other half then is crew, musicians, and management. And then we retain about 30 local stagehands to help run the show with us night after night. Every one of our crew members has kind of a matching crew member, but we also have several dressers that dress our cast. Those are all local people. We have nine local musicians that will stay on for to make our orchestra of 15 people. So then in the end, really, we have about 100 people that run the show every night. We're doing very well today as far as timing. I mean, regardless of how many times we've been here, I think the Denver stagehands are extremely talented yeah. in what they do. So we're able to move a little bit quicker. We want this experience for the audience to be as close to going to the Gershwin Theater in New York as possible. This is just as big of a set and big of a stage as the Broadway production, so it is the closest thing you can get without actually going to New York. And it's the same caliber of actor, it's the same set pieces, it's the same costumes, it's the same lighting plot, so you really are getting the same show. Wicked is not only a beautiful story, but it is a spectacle onto itself. When you see the curtain rise for the first time, it's a big, beautiful set, but it's the addition of the other elements like costumes and the props and, of course, the actors that really make the show what it is. <laughs>